Welcome to Veggie's Farm Game. We would like to cover some medieval warfare topics in the light of Veggie Knights and PvP release. Let's talk about medieval sword parts and components today. We will give you an overview of different parts in this video. Before we start, please subscribe to this channel to receive a fresh updates about game and different giveaways that we are running. Also like this video to make us a bit more happy. This is an easy topic, which would help you to understand more about different sword types. The regular medieval sword actually only consists of two different parts. That is the blade and the hilt. Let's find out more information on these two parts. Part 1, Blade. There are a lot of different blade parts in the sword. The entire blade is categorized in two different segments. Namely the forte and the debole. The forte is the strong part of the blade. This is considered to be the two-third closest to the hilt. Because of its high toughness, the forte is mostly used for parrying and blocking opponents' attacks. On the other hand, the debole is the weaker part of the blade. This piece is mainly used for offensive actions. Point. The point is the tip of the sword blade. Depending on the primary purpose of the sword, the sharpness of the point can vary. For instance, a sword used for thrusting needs to be sharply pointed in order to penetrate armor. Whereas the point is very important for thrusting weapons, the edge serves the sword's cutting ability. Edge. The edge is the part of the sword used for cutting. Swords are either single or double-edged. On a single-edged sword, only one edge is sharpened. The other one is blunt. Whereas on a double-edged sword both of the edged can be used for cutting. Fuller. The fuller is the groove down the center of the blade. It used to lighten the blade, thus making it easier to wield. Furthermore, this process saves a lot of steel, since you can forge a wider blade with less steel. The fuller is oftentimes incorrectly called blood groove. In reality, the fuller has nothing to do with blood. Part 2, Hilt. The handle of a sword consists of four main segments. So, come with us, as we explore these parts of a medieval sword. Cross guard. This is the metal bar protecting the hand of the wielder from the opponent's sword. It provides protection against an enemy sword sliding down the edge of the blade towards the hilt. The cross guard is in place to block swords, right before they can reach the hand of the defender. Grip. There isn't much to say about the grip of a sword. The grip refers to the handle of the sword. Typically, it is created from wood or metal, and most of the time covered with untanned tough leather, or shark skin. On the contrary, Japanese swords used ray skin instead. Pommel. The pommel is the mounting at the end of the hilt. It mainly serves two purposes. The main purpose of pommel is to provide some counterweight for the sword, so it would be better balanced. Whilst pommels are used as a counterweight, they also prevent the hand slipping from the grip. Conclusion. We've just covered all main parts of medieval swords. We hope that we provide you with everything you wanted to know about the various sword components and parts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Veggie's Farm Game channel.